Welcome to another episode of Between Two Flasks. I'm Kyle Shea, and I'm here with Marilyn Drennan. Um, and today we're going to be talking about MD PhD programs. Marilyn, could you please describe what an MD PhD program is? So, an MD PhD program is really a dual degree um, where you can get training in both clinical and research areas. And these programs are really designed for people who want to pursue a career as a physician scientist. Who should actually want to be going? to an MD-PhD program? The easiest answer is if you want to be a physician scientist, <laughs> you might want to apply to an uh, MD-PhD program. But to drill down into the specifics a little bit more, if you really want to be able to apply the research that you're doing in the lab in a clinical setting, you might want an MD-PhD. If you enjoy sort of collaborative translational work, and translational is just another way to kind of say, you know, that you like taking the work you do in the lab uh, and applying it in the clinic when you're treating patients. It's a pretty rigorous degree program, so you want to be committed to sort of spending the time to pursue both degrees. And really, it's for folks that want to be kind of at the interface and at the forefront of research and medicine. Now, I've heard through the grapevine that uh, MD-PhD programs are often paid for with their tuition, health insurance, and even a stipend or a salary. The grapevine is correct on this one. <laughs> This feels like a great way to get your medical degree paid for. That's really not a great reason to enroll in one of these programs. Like I mentioned, they're very intensive. It's a lot of training. Um, and if you are just doing it for kind of that monetary advantage, uh, you're, you're going to be pretty unhappy. So if you're unsure about what degree you want to pursue... Um, and you're just doing an MD-PhD for the free med school or because you think pursuing both degrees will help you decide what you like better, that's really not a great reason to do an MD-PhD program. Um, if you like research and you know you like research, get a PhD, right? If you love patient care, if you really want to be able to treat patients, get an MD only. This degree is really for folks that want to be able to integrate the two paths fully every day in their careers. So don't do it. Just <laughs> for free medical school. <laughs> really got to be in it for the right reasons. Um, now, I've heard a lot of talk of MD-PhD versus MSTP, and I get really confused. There's a lot of acronyms. I get confused too, so this is a good question. So there's two different traditional pathways to get a dual degree. So just like you mentioned, there's an MD-PhD program and then something called an MSTP program or a medical scientist training program. And the real difference is that an MSTP is funded with a training grant or a T32 from the National Institutes of Health or the NIH. Please wait, no, no more soup. I'm, I'm already full. I'm too full. <laughs> no more acronym soup. <laughs> the funding is the same, right? So your medical school is still covered, whether you're in an MSTP, a medical scientist training program. I let that acronym slip. No more, I promise. <laughs> or an MD-PhD, a dual degree program. But there may be differences in the curriculum of each program. So it's really important to look at the programs and do your research to understand kind of the different components of the programs as you're thinking about applying. Now, most people are looking to go to an MD, PhD program, have already spent like half their lives in school. You'll finish your MD, PhD when it's time to retire. <laughs> I'm kidding. I hope I'm not. kidding. I really hope not. I'm kidding. But you can expect to spend about seven to eight years getting a dual degree. So that's part of the reason you want to be really sure that you're passionate about a career as a physician scientist before you apply for this degree because it is pretty intensive. So you can expect that your first sort of one to three years are going to be focused on medical school. So you're going to be completing medical school-based curriculum. And then in year three, you transition to doing your PhD research. So you're going into a lab and between years three to six are really completing your dissertation research. And then you actually go back to medical school at the end um, to do your sort of clinical rotations and sort of learn the clinical side of care. So that in and of itself is about seven to eight years. And then on top of that, if you want to specialize, so for example, if you want to go into surgery or a different specialized field of medicine, you might need to do a different kind of residency or fellowship to gain additional training there. If you need additional training in research, you might go back into academia and do a postdoctoral fellowship. So all of those things kind of add time to that seven to eight year timeline. We should also mention that it is possible to get an MD, PhD outside of one of these dual programs, right? So you can go to medical school and get an MD and then go to graduate school and get a PhD or the inverse. It just takes a little bit more time and planning on your end, right? Because you're the one that's, that's proactively pursuing those opportunities, applying to school and kind of building that career path where an MD, PhD program, a dual degree program, the training is really built around 
comprehensive preparation to become a physician scientist. Yeah. Now that we're at the end of our timeline, uh, what kind of careers could someone with an MD, PhD uh, try to tackle? Like I said, it's those folks that want to be a physician scientist. So you can come to a place like Fred Hutch and work in academia, right, where you're treating patients in the clinic sometimes, and then going back to the lab to do research to actually improve your ability to treat those patients. Um, you can also work in industry, especially in a place like Seattle. There's tons of opportunities to work in a pharmaceutical company or for a biotech. Um, and again, be kind of at that interface of clinical and research discovery. You can work for a research institute. A lot of MD PhDs are also attending physicians uh, or a career in public health, right? We always need more folks that are pursuing public health professions that have kind of that joint training and understanding as well. This has been amazing, Marilyn. Thank you so much for talking to us about MD-PhD programs, and we'll see you next week.